quick recap, doing a painting. Part one or part two is up here. If you want to see any other stuff, links in the description. Let's get the painting. Hello everybody and welcome back to day three on Painting with Rob. Um, as you can see, I still haven't fixed the camera. But I can tell you that right now I am working on palm tree leaves. Now, when I did this, um, not noticing that I was not showing the camera, but I was working on these leaves. Now, these leaves are just a regular green. Now, going back on watercolor, going on top of it, you see that it's just one stroke of the brush. Um, throughout this part of the video, you can start seeing exactly what I am talking about and it goes through a little bit more detailing on what I actually did to make this work. I literally just kept referencing the picture I was looking at and just kind of measured where it would be in relationship to the painting and everything and just drew one line and then just quickly brushed um, as much as I can off the paintbrush until I got exactly what I wanted. And a little later, I'm going to go back to doing more details on it to give it more of a variety of green colors. You can see on the last leaves, I'm just finishing up. They do have some variety, but I will eventually go back with detailings and everything. Now, for those who don't know me that well, I'm going to tell you a little history about myself. Well, for an artist's perspective, I started doing art when I was about 10. And I guess like elementary school. I went to this one little institution a couple of towns from me. And I started off with just sketching and perfecting my um, skills. I might have told this story, but I'm going to go a little more details. On it. So I went to do some little um, sketching and doing some ink. And mostly just going every week and just practicing my skills. I eventually wanted to try something different and I went to watercolor and it was a little rough at the start but I eventually continued on through high school. I've gone through um, a couple of art shows in the institution, got a couple of awards and in college I had to figure out some art classes. I still wanted to go back to my little artsy background so I happened to find acrylic and I was like alright well this shouldn't be that hard it's a little hard, a little easier than working with oil. So I went to acrylic and I just picked it up very, very quickly. <clears throat> and kind of just continued with acrylic ever since and tried to do some different things with acrylic. Uh, mostly I started with um, having several basic paint colors like yellow, red, two different types of blue, white, black and I think there's another color that I have but mostly I just use those and just as the bases and just mix and match whatever colors I needed for the time. Now see I keep going back between working on some details I'm working on the details on the trees right now you can see partially um now oh wait there we go I moved the board I moved it it's, a, it's an accomplishment for this job. So as you can see a little bit here, I'm doing a little more details on the tree just to make it look like an actual um, tropical palm tree. Now for these, um, I, this is the second time in my life I have ever worked with palm trees like this. So it took me some thinking and tackling just to get the details and the look of a tree correct. A little fun fact, this is not the first time I did a palm tree. I'm not sure if I said I did or didn't, but the other time I did a palm tree was for a lighthouse painting that's uh, hanging up in my house. Um, I did that one in watercolor, so I can say that I have done two different palm trees, both in different colors. Now looking at this painting, I had to wonder what other seasonal paintings could I do? Maybe some fall, winter, spring, maybe another summer? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below on what paintings you think I should do to try to do on painting with rock. 
So yeah, I keep going back and forth between um, just working on this palm tree. Um, you won't later in this video be able to see the full palm trees that I was talking about in this video and in the last video. Um, in a little bit, I will actually be making a border, kind of like a nice wooden border, only on the edges. It won't be seeping too much into the painting itself. I still wanted to keep the um, natural look. There it is right there. Oh look, we got a new project right here. So in this little bit, I decided to put an anchor on the back. Um, for this, I would normally, I used, um, looks like scotch tape or painter's tape to kind of get an idea on where I want it and scale. Now, scaling was very important when I was working on this. If you remember from last, the last video from the boat that I made, I had to make it very, very tiny because I put it in a very far background. You could put it, and for me, I wanted to put the anchor closer to it and weigh it in the quarter. So I had to figure out exactly where, how far, and how big I wanted to. I originally started, um, I think, with seven inches, and after believing that it was going to be a little too big, I decided to scale it down two inches. Now, it's very difficult to see, but I'm using a nice light gray to make the um, thing itself. I'll later put um, some later detailings in it to make it more stand out, popping out, and kind of give it that the, um, the sun is reflecting on the right side of it. And I'll also put a little some watercolor stuff in the bottom to show that it is supposed to be inside the water itself. I had to go back and forth to figure out if I wanted to do this on the water or I wanted to do this on the shores. Oh look, we're also going to have some nice little birds. And here we go. I, um, for the framing, what I did was I put a um, big layer of painter's tape around all four corners. So right there, it's just where I did not want to paint. While the other side, that's where I really wanted to paint. So I mostly just went back and forth. Um, right now, you're watching the second coat. I actually put a coat before where it was a uh, light brown just to... Um, get a cover and then the brown, the darker brown I'm putting on right now is just a layer coat where I just swapped it back and forth, not really caring exactly how much detail. I wanted to have the look of a um, kind of um, multi-layered or multi-colored wood grain frame. If you get an idea, you seen like old picture frames where it was like that. And as we're getting close to the end, I'd like to say thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Bye.